Hey, how's it going guys? Dalton here with another video on the YouTube channel and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video we're going to be finding out what happens if you don't shoot the Pinkertons in the final mission when saving Abigail and Sadie Adler from Agent Milton. Now I don't know about you guys but I'm so excited to dive into more of these Red Dead Redemption 2 videos. I have been excited to dive into them ever since my channel got terminated back a year ago and all my Red Dead Redemption 2 videos that I did in 2018 when the game first came out all got deleted so I'm kind of wanting to re make that and kind of do some Red Dead Redemption 2 videos once again, especially because I love the game. It's one of my favorite games and I just want to explore some more mysteries that we haven't done or dig done in the past. So once again, we're going to find out what exactly is going on and how Abigail how Abigail and we're gonna find out what exactly happens when the Pinkertons when you don't shoot and I actually found out it's a secret outcome this is something I never thought that could occur and if you actually loot Agent Milton at the end of it when we're leaving the shop it's actually pretty cool so it ultimately starts as basically Dutch and Arthur and the gang coming back from the train robbery that they just did on, in the mission our best selves and pretty much after that they find out Jack um, is going to be lonely without his mama because Abigail was taken by the Pinkertons. Well, Micah basically said, hey, you know, she's just a girl. We need to leave her. And then basically the whole gang left Arthur and Sadie to defend off a whole team of Pinkertons to save Abigail. And uh, once again, that's just not right. I never liked that part of the story, but you guys can kind of just get a glimpse on how that mission is started. So that's how it essentially plays out where Arthur and Sadie are eventually on their own to fight all these Pinkertons to save Abigail. And this is how it all starts. <laughs> How you feeling? I'm okay. I think you should cover me and I'll go in there and get her. Cause you're the better shot, I mean. That ain't what you mean. I can still fight. I know, Arthur. But just do it my way, honey. It's for the best. Get up someplace high, like the lighthouse or something. And cover me. Please. Okay. So after that encounter, you pretty much have to save Sadie because as you know at the Van Horn trading post, she actually gets captured by the Pinkertons and Arthur has to defend them off on his own. Well, like I said, when I first played this mission, I'm like, oh my god, I have to fight off all of these Pinkertons on my own. So essentially, that is what happens. Arthur basically kind of has to go down there and save uh, Sadie and Abigail. Well, it turns out if you actually don't shoot the Pinkertons, there's actually an interesting outcome. Like, even if you shoot one, they'll ultimately just shoot Arthur right on the spot. And then I think it's Sadie and Abigail, like Arthur or something like that, you know, is showing their sympathy that Arthur has died in the hands of the Pinkertons. And there's also some other things I want to just experiment. I also want to find out what happens when you loot Agent Milton. And you also can... You actually can um, loot Agent Milton, but I also wanted to see what happens in that instance where Agent Milton's holding that gun against Arthur. I want to find out what happens if you don't, like, grapple, like you don't try to get the gun away from Arthur's head. I want to see all those experiments, and this is how it all essentially turned out. Alright, so here's the part. So pretty much Arthur just kind of buses down the door, and then here's where our experiment happens. So if we just hold our gun up here, you'll see that the Pinkertons, this other one basically gets a shotgun and blows Arthur to pieces like this is the ending so I guess it wasn't really a secret outcome to it but I thought it was pretty cool just to see like all the Pinkertons and it's actually interesting because one actually doesn't have a gun in its hand right away so pretty much all of a sudden the gun just blows off and Arthur falls in the water now I wasn't done I was like huh let me see if I can try to kill one Pinkerton but uh, keep the other one alive. So what I did is essentially just shoot at this Pinkerton and it looks like the other one just had really good shotgun skills because he literally threw Arthur to pieces again, like shot Arthur in the back or the stomach. So that wasn't satisfying. So I was like, what? That's all there is to that secret mission. So pretty much once again, I tried it again and this time I actually shot the Pinkertons as the story instructed. And this time I wanted to see kind of what else would happen if I just shooted one and the other, and the other one just like pistoled Arthur 
to death. So really there is no secret outcome to that, but it was really interesting to kind of see what would ultimately happen if Rockstar Games did, if Rockstar Games had anything secret to put in, like Abigail would scream that Arthur got shot or the Pinkertons would ultimately kill Sadie and Abigail. Nope, it's just kind of plays as normal. Arthur just gets shot and then you get like that screen that says dead logo. And then after this, this is Agent Milton kind of saying, hey Arthur, I caught you, give up and you know, and then he asks about, what about that cough? And it's, you know, obviously we know in chapter six, Arthur has tuberculosis. So it's not exactly easy for him to go through that process, but you guys can just about see. So I also wanted to experiment since I wanted to find out what happens if we don't grapple Agent Milton's weapon. And this is what ultimately happened. I'm a fool, Mr. Milton. Not all you boys have quite so many scruples. Old Micah Bell. Micah. You mean Molly? Molly O'Shea? Sweated her a couple of times, never talked a word, had to let her go. Micah Bell. We picked him up when you boys came back from the Caribbean. And he's been a good boy ever since. Okay. Okay. Using your strength. Mr. Morgan? Just tell a yapping dog, Mr. Milton. <laughs> So it pretty uh, much plays out as normal. So even if Arthur didn't like grupple or grupple uh, Agent Milton to get the pistol away from him, it all essentially has Abigail just shooting him right on the spot. So I thought maybe if Arthur would like not use strength for the pistol, I wondered if Arthur would have a secret death cutscene from Agent Milton, but no. So what I wanted to do next essentially is actually go back into the Van Horn trading post to see if I could. And you can actually go back. So what I wanted to do is, there's a thing called Loot Agent Milton, and I didn't even know you could do this. Like, this is awesome. So pretty much what I did is I looted 80, I, pretty much what I did is I looted Agent Milton. He only had $2 on him and a pocket watch, so he had a few things that could be sold, but you're at the end of the game, you're at the end of the mission, you're not going to really be able to use these valuables unless you actually go as John. So I was able to find out that you can loot Agent Milton, but the other stuff, I kind of found it disappointing. I didn't, I thought Rockstar Games would put like something secret in there where you can actually ultimately like, you know, get killed by Agent Milton and then Abigail and Sadie scream, you know, saying bloody murder that Arthur has passed away in the hands of Agent Milton. And I wanted to see if it would trigger any secret outcome to Dutch or the rest of the gang if Sadie and Arthur or Sadie and Abigail all of a sudden just went to the gang, basically shooting the whole gang, telling them, what did you guys do? You left Arthur for dead, something like that. Nope, that did not occur. So I didn't really get anything out of that except for that you can loot Agent Milton, which is actually pretty cool. And then once again, the story plays out as the same. You pretty much leave Van Horn. You have to shoot the rest of the Pinkertons that are actually chasing you. And then pretty much as that goes, you kind of just follow the trail back to the camp and that's kind of when Arthur says his final goodbyes to Sadie and um, Abigail and basically goes after the gang at the end of the game. But anyway guys, that is all the information I got for you guys on this video today. I did find this Red Dead Redemption 2 experiment to be satisfying. That way you can loot Agent Milton. I did not know you could do that, so that's pretty cool. You guys can let me know in the comments down below. Do you have any more Red Dead Redemption 2 videos, mysteries, and secrets you want me to check out? You guys can let me know in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys do enjoy videos like this on the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe for more daily awesome videos, such as GTA 6, Rockstar Games videos, and all the upcoming Red Dead Redemption 2 mystery content that I'll be doing on my channel. Subscribe for more of those. But like I said, guys, thanks for watching. Stay happy, healthy, and well, and I'll see you guys all later on the next video.